we already have a video on our channel of how you can customize the creative for your Facebook and Instagram ads by placement without ever having to create new ads. If you're looking for a different and possibly more efficient way to really be proactive in your ad creation, you really should be using Facebook's Creative Hub. This is a tool that allows you to create ad templates to use on any current or future ad sets that you will run. We can also go over how easy it is to implement these templates into any ad set that you have, and it's really gonna save you some time in the whole ad creation process on Facebook and Instagram. So let's jump into Facebook Creative Hub. Creative Hub does live within the Facebook Business Manager, but I wanted to be on a different screen just so you know how to find it. Underneath the home icon on the left-hand navigation, you'll find your business tools menu. Since I've used Creative Hub fairly recently, it does show up in my recommended shortcuts, so I can select it right here, or you can scroll down and you will find it under advertise. So let's click on that one. And this is gonna be the first screen you see in Creative Hub if this is your first time entering this tool. The first thing I wanna show you, and I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on it, is if you need to add any collaborators, and that's gonna be under the title right here. Right now, both Michelle and I have access, but you can click on this manage permissions link and invite other users just to Creative Hub. So if you work on an account and you have to get every ad approved, or if you wanna test out different creatives and those have to get reviewed before you can push any ads live, you can add that user who has to review that content to Creative Hub and then get their final approval before adding any of these ads to an ad set. If you need to, you can also add an external user, someone who's not already connected to the account in Facebook Business Manager, and it's really gonna give you the flexibility to have that checks and balances in place to put it in blunt terms it's pretty much a cya making sure that you're covered before any ads go live that the client has a chance to see them and the client will have the ability to and we'll see it later on enable the ad to be pushed live closing that out we're back to the main creative hub welcome menu again and pretty much the only thing we could do next is start creating our first mock-up there's a button up top right here or we can click on this creative mock-up button as well when you first get into the mock-up portion, you will still need to select the Facebook page and Instagram account you wanna be associated with this ad. I already did that step for you so you can see it populated the image from our profile. But with any ad in Facebook, you can start naming it and the rest of the setup is gonna be pretty familiar if you've already been in Facebook and created some ads. For this mock-up template, you will want to select which format, a single image or video, and then carousel is the second option. Even though we can see all the different placement options and what the ad would look like, we still can't combine carousel with a single image or a single video. Next, we will wanna go down and choose our media. For this first example, I'll just look at adding an image. And here we see the image is populated in all the placements where an image is allowed to be shown. It makes sense that for Facebook video feeds, and if I scroll down, and seeing the in-stream videos placement, of course, nothing's gonna show. They can only have videos within those placements. So what we can do is edit that specific placement. And now I can see the video that I added for this specific placement will show up for this ad. It's all within the same mock-up, but I can still run video and single image ads together within one ad template. Now, if I scroll down back to the in-stream videos section, I will have to edit that placement as well. But right offhand, I don't have any paid media pros video creative that would fit within this placement. And that's why proactively creating these ads can be really helpful because then I can go back to my team, request a specific video just for this placement if we really wanna make sure that we're in every ad placement as possible. But scrolling back up, again, I'm still looking at the creative. I haven't added any text in. If we look Look at the Facebook right column placement, we can see how small that image is. And for this first one that I added, I mean, the picture itself isn't good no matter what, but maybe we want something better for this specific placement. Again, I can go up top here and click edit, and then I can change it. Still probably not the best image for this placement, but we can see Michelle itself is larger within the image. So she's taking up the whole image space instead of being much smaller like she was originally. So this is just one quick fix. You can go placement by placement updating the creative. You can even go in and crop the images. If you wanna only select a portion of that image and actually blow it up so it is more visible, you can do that by placement as well. And even though you can still update ads by placement, and we already have another video for that one, which you could check out right here, updating your ads by placement in Creative Hub could be a lot easier because you could see all these placements together and actually figure out what looks best for each placement before even launching an ad. I could keep playing around and testing out a different image for each placement, but I wanna move on to the text portion just so we can get a preview of what that would look like for each of the placements. So real quick, I went ahead and I added the headline and the primary text for this template. Let me scroll up all the way back to the top and we can see specifically where the primary text is cut off. And when we look at the different placements, we see the primary text is cut off in different locations. Sometimes it's really early, like in the Instagram feed placement, but then also we see like in the Facebook feeds placement, 
we get almost to the end of what I actually typed in. If we look down at the messenger inbox placement, we can see that the primary text doesn't show, but it's one of the few placements where the headline is cut off. So in this particular placement, if the headline is really the only thing a user sees besides my brand name and the image, I'm definitely gonna wanna go in and update the headline just for this placement. So within each placement, you can click the primary text, or in this case, the headline, and update it. Now, before I even save it, I could see if the headline is gonna fit, and this one does. So now I'm happy with it, so I can save it. Now, scrolling back to the top, something that you need to be careful is that if you have different creatives per placement, you might wanna make sure that your text in that ad makes sense with the creative that you're using. So in most of the placements, I have this picture of Michelle and she looks angry. So in the creative, I said, why is Michelle so angry? And then blah, 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 we go on with the rest of the primary text. Well, with the Facebook video feeds placement, I didn't use that image at all. And if you click on the video, you actually see that she's laughing and happy. So starting off the text with why is Michelle so angry does not make any sense at all. And it actually could be confusing for the user. So for this particular placement, you may wanna go in and click edit and then change the primary text. So now she's not angry because she was waiting for the video. She's happy because the latest video was released. But we see in the preview that sentence after the first question gets cut off and it gets cut off in a weird place. So potentially I may want to push that second paragraph down and now look at it. Why is Michelle so happy? The only way they can find the answer is to click see more. That's going to get users engaging with my ad. It's definitely going to start playing the video and then they could read the rest of the message and that might be a more engaging ad format, which is going to make Facebook happy if I structure my primary text this way just for this particular placement. After I save this one, I'm not gonna go in for every single placement and adjust them in this video. Just know that you could do this on your own, but I do wanna scroll down to this section and look at stories in particular. Now, basic stories creative like this could work and I have seen them work, but what I've seen work the best is to have specific creative ready for the stories placements. And since I use stories mainly on Instagram with my ads, I'm gonna edit this particular placement. So what we did with this stories placement creative is that we looked at what we can actually do if we were naturally creating an Instagram story. This format is gonna override most of the text that we have in the other placements, but if we've done our research and if we see that our target audience likes to engage with this form of creative because it better suits the platform where we're advertising to these users, then I'm gonna stick with this type of creative potentially for not only my Instagram stories, but also maybe the Facebook and Messenger stories as well. And I wanted to show you this part is because in stories, if I'm using a full display image, my text will not be shown. That is why when we were creating this particular image for this placement, we made sure that the message called out what we wanted the user to do, setting the right expectations, but still having it fun, again, to meet that Instagram feel. And if the user swipes up to learn more, they will be taken to the landing page, which we can add within this template. And let's get to that section next. For now, I just put the basic website URL. If you wanna put your parameters within the template, you can do that. But when you implement this mock-up within your ad sets, when creating your ads later on, you will have the chance to still add in the UTM parameters within the ad set if you still like to do it that way. And then last is gonna be the call to action. Pretty straightforward. It's a select menu, so just gonna choose whichever one makes the most sense with whatever you're trying to do. So that was just one example using a single image, or in some cases, we swapped out those placements with videos, but understand pretty much the exact same process can be done if you wanna create a carousel ad template. Can all your headlines be shown in every single placement? or in every single card if you are doing a carousel. We'll look at it initially before you even launch the ad. Does the primary text placement and where it gets cut off make sense? Exactly what we did with the Facebook video feeds placement. If you wanna update it to kind of make it more enticing or actually fit the channel or the placement a lot better, you'll be able to see that easier in Creative Hub than trying to create a different ad within the ad set. This is why I love using Creative Hub. It gives you a chance to view everything, make all the updates you need to do, and it's gonna save you a lot of work and adjustments later on if you're doing a lot of the planning ahead of time. And this is the exact view that potentially your boss or your client, your creative director, whoever needs to review this creative can actually just come in and get the same view, look through everything, and if they want to, if they give the final sign off, they can actually click show in ads manager. We see that this mockup is now saved. Let me go back to the main Creative Hub homepage. Since we did check this little toggle blue, that means I can go into any ad set and upload this template in any previous 
current or future ad set. If somebody goes into the template, you can uncheck it. Potentially it's an old version. It's just had poor performance and you wanna make sure nobody can use it ever again. You can turn it off and it'll show up from the actual templates. We're gonna to get to that really soon. That is gonna be the final part of this video, but all of that can be controlled in Creative Hub. Now let's say you were running this particular version or mock-up for a while. It was performing really well and maybe you wanna do a different test or you just wanna use the main template but make certain tweaks. In this mock-up option menu right here, if you click on it, you could delete it if it's absolutely horrible and you never want to use it again. But we're talking about testing here so we can actually duplicate the same mock-up and then we can click on it, update the name. It's just surprising that they don't add the copy like they do if you're actually in an ad set just to differentiate the name of the ad or the template. And then maybe we want to use the same creative but just test out a different primary text. Now all I did was update the primary text. And if we look at the actual placements within this new mockup, any placement that was using the default primary text gets updated. But in the original mockups, if we were using placement specific copy or placement specific creatives, those will not get updated if you're only updating the main template options. So depending on how much you've customized per placement, duplicating may be more work. If you have to go in and actually placement by placement, update everything, sometimes it makes more sense just to create a new template from scratch. So that is why looking at the Facebook video feeds one it still says why is Michelle so happy where I might want to go in click on the primary text option again or I can just delete the one I already have here and since I deleted the placement specific one within this placement we see the primary text is the new one I added at the higher level so I can save it and now it's updated again this particular option the creative really doesn't match the primary text so I might want to go in and once again update this specific video creative just for this placement if I go back to this main mockups menu there we see the new version. As of right now, none of them are gonna show up in Ads Manager, so let's change that. I'm gonna stick with my original one. It moved to the top of the menu just because they wanna show the enabled ones first. And now I can start using this mockup within any of my ad sets. So let's jump back into Ads Manager. I'm in the ad set where I wanna start adding these new ads. And in order to start using the mockups that we just created in Creative Hub, find this ad setup portion. Under the Create Ad dropdown, you will see that the last option is to use a Creative Hub mockup. And while I had two versions, we only enabled the first version to be used with an ads manager. Remember, we switched the toggle back to blue. That version two will not show up unless someone with the right admin permissions goes back into Creative Hub and allows it to be used for ads. So our only option is this first version. The only error that we are receiving is because I just created a dummy ad set and the targeting's all messed up. There's nothing wrong with the ads themselves. Everything has been filled in our images, our texts, and our headlines. I know I skipped descriptions just for this example. Our URLs are filled in, and here we see everything broken out by placement. There's our website URL. There's our call to action. Here's where you can add the conversion tracking and add your URL parameters. Again, we couldn't do that within Creative Hub. So since we did all the work ahead of time, I'm pretty good just to publish this ad. And I know I'm ready to go because we spent so much time initially planning and making sure everything looked good. And I know exactly what each ad is gonna look like on every single placement. Now, one thing to keep in mind as we get close to wrapping out this video is for whatever reason, if you found out that there were mistakes in any way and you start editing the ad itself and not the template, the changes will not be made in any of the mock-up templates in Creative Hub. If you're editing the ad itself within Ads Manager, you're only editing that ad. So your best option there is probably to go back into the mock-up, correct any mistakes that potentially may have happened, and then go in and recreate another ad using the updated template. And this is probably pretty self-explanatory too, but if you're duplicating ads from a Creative Hub mock-up template within Ads Manager, any of those changes that you may have made to the ad will only reflect in the new ads. If you're duplicating the ad itself, you will not get the original Creative Hub mock-up if there were any changes. So pretty much think of Ads Manager and Creative Hub as two separate tools. The only connection between the two going back up is that you can import your mock-ups from Creative Hub within the ad setup portion. Once you've done that, their connection is complete and they live separately. So hopefully you've seen how valuable Creative Hub can be if you are proactively getting your creative in place. I found this to be really helpful if you know a sale is coming on or if you've gotten a good lead time to actually start getting campaigns in place well before they're launched. It's really a good tool to have some sort of checks and balance system in place that you know everything looks good, that both the potentially the advertiser as well as the brand or the agency or your boss and everyone on the team is satisfied with how the ads look before ever pushing them in front of your target audience. So have fun messing around, making sure your ads look great, 
and hopefully you will increase your engagement rate on all your ads. You'll see better performance by your placements, especially the ones that you may not consider work the best, as well as start driving more conversions and more actions because you've spent so much time improving your creative on Facebook.